After spending almost two years as a PvP locked hardcore Ironman and one year as a hardcore Ironman hunter, I have decided to return to being a hardcore in PvP worlds. However, this time my private will be on at all time. My in-game name is How Much For Off, and my bounty is on screen, and it's consistently increasing every single day. Oh my god, he's still waiting there. Welcome to RuneScape's biggest hide and seek ever. Today's jackpot is 7 billion. You gotta find me, you gotta catch a TB, and you gotta kill me. Those are the rules. Alright, this will be my hiding spot. Look, we are in the middle of nowhere. We gotta kill these lizard men. They drop. Uh, they have a chance of dropping uh, the talisman. Serix talisman for the teleport. In the case of emergency, we can use this dungeon right here. Uh, to get a log out. Whoa, runner seat. Boom, 62 range. <gasps> yes, we got it. We're done. We're done. We're done. We're done. We're done. Let's go. Or we, we could get one more to get more charges, but that's great. 72 kills in total for the talisman. I'm pretty lucky under drop rate. For those of you who don't know, the Serex talisman allows me to use five different teleports to five different locations in Zaya. The, the, these are teleports not many people camp, so it's gonna be a lot harder for the hunters to camp and lock down a spot to catch me. We did also get an upgrade to our magic gear. We can now make a Serration top. My new best in slot, uh, magic gear, the Salad Robe Warrior. Here we go. Hey, 23 Slayer. Oi, 24. There we go, 25. Task completed. Let's get out of here. Beautiful. Even though I'm an Iron Man and people can't enter my house, People can still see where my house is located, which is a bad thing because then as soon as I move my house People will know I'm doing an activity close to that area, but I want to do something which I really want to do I want to get 100% Piscarillus favors so I can buy raw fish. Yeah, never mind I'm not getting that favor up since I got scouted. I'm doing this quest cursor curse all right, that's the cursor curse completed Let's go now. We can actually use this bank very useful bank. We're actually gonna try to train some hunter here right up north. I'm actually gonna leave I have a bad gut feeling about this. I don't know why. Scoutbot just talk. You should listen to him All right, I want some grape seeds. I want to try this out planting some grapes. There we go How many grapes did we get? 57 grapes. I think that's 100 XP per grape There we go 9600 cooking experience all right, here we go. Vampire Slayer. Boom. It should be done now. Yeah. There we go. 40 attack. We can now wear rune uh, rune items. I just realized we do have an ornament kit for the rune scimitar. Oh my god, that handle. That's a beautiful handle. Another trip to Underdruid. <gasps> we got it. Our first grubby key. Let's go. Uh, what do we drop? What do we drop? All right, good luck. Open anyway. We get sharks and super stores, all right. All right, that's pretty good, pretty good. Whoa, 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 whoa! You see, the undead roots are locked down. Luckily, I got a grubby key. Sadly, no bruise, but we did get sharks, which is my best in slot food. Maybe this time we can get some more Piscarellius favor. So far, I don't see anyone. This, this place is multi. Um, wait, it's not? Hey, since it's not multi, maybe it's safe then. Wait, this could potentially be the last one. Let's see, let's see. 97, okay, one more. Surely this is the last one. Nope, one more. It's gotta be enough. Boom, 100% Piscarellius favor. Let's go. Alright, now that we have 100% Piscarellius favor, we can actually go down south to this food shop right here. If a team like randomly camps here, which I don't think they will, you know, I, I, I'm gonna die. So this raw fishing shop, it got lobsters, bass, swordfish, and when I get the cooking level, raw sharks as well. I mean, we don't really need the food right now, uh, so I just bought two inventories, but we're gonna need it eventually. Eventually. Alright, might as well finish off the 100% 
it in all favor. Lava Kench, the last one. 100% let's go, we have done everything. All favors have been completed. So now that we have 100% in all favors, I wanna do this uh, mini quest, Architectural Alliance. Most of the quest is in multi, so I gotta pay full attention here. Look at this beautiful statue. Architectural Alliance completed. I feel like Herblore is the correct choice here. It's very difficult to train up. And that's a Herblore level. Beautiful, 10k. 59 Herblore. Uh, do I want to start this quest? A kingdom divided? This this quest is so scary because there's so many cutscenes where you can get caught at. Look, I just spawned in the middle of nowhere. In multi as well. Alright, let's focus. Let's focus. Judge of Jama, 168 combat. Finish him! There we go. Sent. In the bin. Oh. Ooh, someone found me just as I did that part. Doodle brain. Time to change everything up, do something completely different. 62, thieving, 47, fletching. Uh, I don't wanna say I'm re rejuvenating the PvP scene of uh, RuneScape, but look at all the fights I've created just by being in this bank. Like there was a fight over here as well, and a fight over there. Oh, nice! Vilimu. Someone waiting for another PvP hard crime and, and they find me instead. <sighs> Look at him. Look at him. He logged. He logged thinking I didn't see him. We killed a total of three crabs before getting found. Uh, and if you were wondering why the progress is so slow, that's your reason. Way 63 range. 63 thing. I still can't access the wizard's guild, so I still gotta purchase all the Laurens from here, from Lundale. Very scary place to get to. Yeah, while I'm here, I might as well high alk everything I don't need anymore and uh, just buy the runes back from Lundale. Oh, 63 magician, 48 fletching. Boom, 64 magic, 59 combat. Uh, I got 41, 42, and 43 smithing. I'm not gonna lie, I'm honestly considering putting my private off. It's been getting very unplayable the last couple of weeks uh, because I'm getting ragged no matter where I go. And I, I know, I, I put myself into this position where private on, people are supposed to find me and kill me, but uh, it, it gets to a point where even I CBA. There we go, 44 smithing. The Ogre Shaman is pretty good loot here. We get rune full helms, rune med helms, oh, plenty of loot. And here we go, 61 hit points, beautiful. I think I started my Ogre journey with 120k, maybe. And I've made 140k so far, so this is a great money making method here. Look at this, 64 range, beautiful. Oh, look at that, another good drop, a rune battle axe. This high alt for like 30k, thank you. All right, I wanna do a Slayer task. My current Slayer task is Wolf 17, 26 Slayer, 27 Slayer. There we go, task completed. Assignment, uh, give me an easy one, please easy one. Earth War, ooh. The only bad thing is there's always a bot right here swinging across these, these bars, but not this time. Oh, look who it is. Look who's here. I got six kills before being found here, and now my task is like 140, so... The scout is dead! That means I'm safe, right? Because the scout the scout died, so I I'm safe, right? There we go, Mountain Daughter completed. Slop of Compromise on the goblins to complete the quest! Boo! 1000 cooking experience, 1000 crafting experience, 1000 farming experience. Increase, yeah, look at that, 55 cooking. We have increased our stock here. We can buy three grapes at a time. The real question is, is anyone gonna show up here? Look at him. <laughs> I knew someone was waiting. Give me this ninja and playing. Let's go, get out of here. What do we get? Rune knives. So I wanna do this quest, hand in the sand quest. If I complete this quest, I no longer have to go to the mage arena in the wilderness. I can just buy my runes here in Yanil. Oh my god, someone waited. 
That scout! That scout! Oh my goodness! We do! We do, we do, we do! <laughs> Before we continue, we need to talk scout bots. A few months ago, I made a rule if someone is using a scout bot and kills me, the bounty will not be paid out. And if someone is using AHK, and kills me, the bounty will not be paid out. And still, I am in no way saying that this account 75 Fury Dwarf in the bank is a scout bot. He could just have been a manual scout. All we know for sure is that Widow used this account to scout me because he was placed perfectly when he teleblocked me. However, after investigating this account 75 Fury Dwarf, I can by 75% confidence say that it was a scout bot. The account was still logged in 1 hour after I logged out, and the account was still logged in 10 hours after I logged out. And a friend of mine even spoke to him afterwards, and he claims that 75 Fury Dwarf confirmed that he owned scout bots in other banks around Gilnor as well. Normally scout bots aren't even an issue for PvP locked hardcore IMM because they are placed there uh, because there's a war between the different types of loring clans, they kinda wanna anti-lore each other. But anyway, let's move on with the episode. Okay, hop to 579, then hop back to 560. Now we complete the quest, real quick. Boom! Quest completed, we did it! Is he logging in? Is he logging in? He did not log in! Yes! We completed the quest! Quest completed. Since we forgot to read out the rewards, let's see what Slayer Music says. He said, We got 1k thieving experience, 9k crafting experience, and access to the Magic Guild Rune Store. And of course, we can collect buckets from Bert. Can I collect sand from Bert? Beautiful! This could be the last episode where I have my private on. It's been too unplayable, too many raggers, and barely any progress. I'll still have all the PvP locked hard crime and added. And who knows, I might even add some of the respectable hunters. And of course, dead my mode is coming up, so I won't be playing for a couple of weeks. And with that being said, the bounty have, of course, increased. 10 mil, plus 13 mil, plus 25 mil, plus 10 mil, plus 10 mil, plus 100 mil, putting the bounty at 7 billion, 460 million. Good luck gamers. Mm -hmm.